हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल मेरा नमस्ते आप सभी को हाउ यू गोइंग टू टुडे आई एम डूइंग फैंटास्टिक एज ऑलवेज टुडे आई एम हियर अगेन ऑन योर स्क्रीन विद अ बुक रिव्यू एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट फिक्शनल जर्नल बुक बाय द वे गाइस आई एम नॉट अ वेरी बिग फैन ऑफ फिक्शनल जर्नल बुक सो व्हाई डिड आई चूज दिस जर्नल because before i read this book i was not an avid reader forget about avid reader i was not even a reader so at that point of time for me reading book was not a challenge but taking a step towards one was a bigger challenge so after procrastinating for a very long time i read a book called the alchemist by polo coelho which was recommended by a friend of mine After reading this book, I realized that reading is important because it helps in self development and mental stimulation. In short, this book turned out to be the stepping stone in my journey of becoming an avid reader. Guys, stay till the end to find out who is the alchemist. So, without wasting any time, let's get started with the video. So, before I share with you about the book, which is the best-selling book and sold over twenty plus million copies across globe. and whose reference has been given by none other than mr will smith and mr amitabh bachchan let's get to know about the person who is behind this book so the person i'm talking about is mr polo coelho mr polo coelho started his journey as a songwriter and then he turned out to be an author let's guys let me give you a little bit of background story about him he as a kid wanted to become a writer and upon telling this to his mother she responded my dear your father is an engineer he is a very logical reasonable man with a very clear vision about the world do you even mean what does it mean to become a writer at the age of 17 he was committed to a mental institution by his parents and from where he tried to escape three times before being released at the age of 20 later coelho remarked that it wasn't that they wanted to hurt me it's just they then knew what to do they then do this to destroy me rather they did it to save me so he abandoned his dream of becoming an author and joined the law school at the very first year he dropped out and started to live like a hippie and started consuming drugs after he came back to his hometown brazil he started as a songwriter and during this period of time he married an artist called christina atisia In 1986, Polo went on to walk a 500 plus mile in Santiago de Compostela in northwestern Spain, where he had a spiritual awakening. So this is pretty much about the author. Let's dive into the book now and see what it has in store for us. A short tale of a shepherd boy. So let's get started. The Alchemist was first written in 1988. It was initially written and published in Portuguese. Later on, after five years, in 1993, it got published in English in 70 other different languages. So, what is the story all about? The story is about the journey of an Andalusian shepherd boy named Santiago. He keeps on getting a dream of a treasure which is lying under the pyramids of Egypt. Believing his recurring dream as a prophecy, he went on to a gypsy fortune teller in a nearby town to know its meaning. The gypsy woman interprets his dream as a prophecy and tells him that he will discover treasures at the Egyptian pyramid. So early into his journey, he meets the king of Salem, who tells him to sell his ship so as to move to Egypt and introduces the idea of personal legend. So what is this person legend it is something which you always wanted to accomplish early into his arrival to africa santiago meets a man who claims to take him to the pyramids of egypt but instead of doing that he robs him of completely and take away all his money which he made from selling his sheep afterwards santiago embarks his long path of working for a crystal merchant so as to make enough money to fulfill his personal legend and go to the pyramids along the way santiago meets this english man who was here in search of an alchemist and later on he continues his journey with his new companion when they reach to an oasis santiago meets and falls in love with this arabian girl fatima 
and proposes marriage to her. She promised to do so in just one condition. And the condition was that she wanted him to complete his journey first. Frustrated at first, later on he realized that true love will not stop, nor one should give up on its own personal destiny. Keeping this thing in mind, Santiago starts his journey again towards the pyramids. The boy then encounters a wise alchemist who teaches him to find his true self and to gather the risk of journey through the territory of warring tribes where Santiago was forced to demonstrate his oneness with the soul of the world by turning him into a simo. During the process, Santiago closes his eyes and starts dig with it and he had a complete visuals of pyramids and guess what happened with him. He was robbed yet again. Throughout the journey, Santiago meets many new people and he even fell in love and faced a very difficult time in his journey which ultimately leads him to discover himself, discover his true potential. So guys, I would like to leave you with a question mark. Does he discover the treasure in the pyramids of Egypt? Guys, coming back to the question which I asked in the initial of the video. The question was, who is the alchemist? The answer is very simple. The answer is, the alchemist is nothing but a metaphor which is referred to us, to me, to you and the rest of the world who is working, who has somebody to love to and who has food on his table but still unable to fulfill his dream, unable to live a life of his dream. Why does it happen? There is a price to be paid for working towards our dream but there is a bigger price to be paid for not working towards our dream. Now. I leave this choice to you guys. What do you want? You want to work for your dream or you are happy being avoiding your dreams? Guys, I would like to share my thoughts about the book. The Alchemist is an amazing book and the storytelling is beautiful. The choice of words are impeccable, full of wisdom and philosophy. I personally loved it. The story is very enchanting and burst with optimism which I think is very important in our daily lives, especially when we are going through this COVID-19. The book shows that the journey to our destiny is more important than the destiny itself. I loved the way it emphasizes on the importance of faith, hope and spirituality through the story of an ordinary boy. I think this book appeals to everyone because we all have dreams. And sometimes we just want someone to tell us that they may come true. Overall, The Alchemist is a very exciting fiction novel and it deserves a space at everyone's bookshelf. So what I'll do guys is, I will drop a link in the description box so that you guys can have your own copy. Talking about my favorite lines and quotes from the book, it was very difficult for me because every here and there, there were certain lines or two which caught my attention. If I have to talk about my top three quotes, they are Number one, love is not to be found in someone else but in ourselves. We simply awaken it but in order to do that we need the other person. Number two, it's the possibility of having a dream come true that makes life very interesting. Number three, there is only one thing that makes a dream impossible to achieve. That is the fear of failure. Thank you so much guys for watching my video today. And if you find any value to it then do like it and share it with your friends and family. And let me know in the comment section which book you want me to review on. I will be more than happy to review that book for all of you. Thank you so much guys. I am signing off for now and I will see you in my next video next week. Mera namaste. Aap sabhi ko.